Um, okay, so there's not really much to say, I guess. Okay, I'm going to talk about doubles. Since I've already made a mixed discussion and singles discussion, I might as well make a, a doubles discussion. But, I don't know, there's not really much to say, just... Okay, so singles is about consistency and hitting your drops, making your opponent move a lot, alright? Um, mixed, you got, you have to really have your partner trust you and just make it over the net. And if they're playing doubles, if your opponent's playing doubles, then you gotta uh, hit to their front when they're playing side side and their middle. And if they're playing front back, then you gotta hit to their sides, right? And the middle of the sides, right? That's basically all you need to know. And then doubles is basically pick on rotation and get it in their face, all right? It's so doubles is generally a react a reaction game. Who could react faster and make it over with the reaction, right? Um. So this means, uh, well, if you're gonna play doubles, you should learn how to hit a shot and not call it what it actually is so if you're smashing don't call it a smash because um i find that in doubles if you smash over the head it okay that sounds like it's going out right but it depends on how close they are to the net so if they're a little tw if they're towards the middle or in the front and i try to smash it okay so if you see me do a smash that's not extremely steep and goes over them they're not gonna hit it chance chances are they're not gonna hit or they're gonna hit, gonna hit it so hard to return such a quick smash that um they're going to hit it out right um if they let it go you will notice that some of my smashes that are really bad will end up in the corner and that's actually what i mean to do um because uh in doubles you want to pick on positions more than you want to pick on their consistency and you just want to get in their face get the birdie as quick as possible send it right at your opponent's face or the body where they cannot hit it right um so like that smash, if I cleared it and I wanted to pick on the back position where they're open, um, they would have had enough time to get it. If I drop, it's not going to go to the back. If I drive, it's he's going to hit it because he knows it's in or it's right in front of him, he might as well hit it. But if I smash it over him with a slice or even without slice, it's going to be hit so weirdly that it's going to go in, for me at least. Uh, I haven't done it lately but because I got injured, but... I was, I'm going to start testing again, and maybe I'll get someone to film me doing that. Um, yeah, so just pick on positions. If they're front, back, then then get them on the sides and the middle of the sides. Because if you get them on the middle of the sides, that means you're driving or dropping, drive dropping past the front person, but not quite to the back person, which means they're going to have to use their side-side motion footwork and go forward at the same time. So you're making... You're still picking on their movement, but you're also picking more on their position. Right? And if they're side side, pick on their fronts and um, let's say the side side, right? Drop to the person who's like slightly farther back. Then they after they receive that, if they clear it back, they're gonna start moving back to side side. Then uh, hit it to the other guy because that first person you dropped it to is still a little bit up front. He could get any drop you send at him. So drop to the other guy. And then after that switch it up. Then you might drop it back to that guy, or you could smash it to either one of them. Smash it down the middle. All right, just basically pick on their fronts, and then if you're picking on their back, chances are you're gonna clear, and they're gonna go uh, in front back position because they're given a chance to smash. Right, so pick on their fronts a lot, and then drive clear it behind the guy you just dropped it to, or smash it to the guy that's up front because you lured him. Right. If you drop to someone, also know that they might you're in front back position probably if you're dropping from the back uh your partner might receive a drop because if you drop it to someone they want to pick on they usually want to pick on you because um you're in the back they want to make you go side side so that's why you have lots of chances to drop to your opponent but once in a while you get the guy that's like me and want to that guy will want to drive drop it to your middle the middle of your sides and your partner is going to have to get it so you have to be ready to bring your racket from up here to down here instantly and then Go to side and get it. All right. Um. Yeah. Pretty much just pick on their positions and use drive drops. There's lots of combination shots like a drop that's pretty far but not really high. So that's a drive drop, right? There's a high smash, which is like a drive smash. 
and then there's a low clear which is a drive clear and you don't want to hit, hit drive clears that hard because they're gonna go up they, tra they travel faster see if you hit something high it will travel uh, most of its traveling will be up and then it won't use as much energy while it's going down so it'll go up and down that's a, that's a clear all right but then a drive clear is straightforward straightforward shots will travel farther because they don't have all that distance going up all right so if you get let's say this is 15 feet all right 15 feet going forward it will go this much distance from one side of the camera to the other side of the camera if you go 15 feet up see it doesn't quite reach the other side of the camera right so this is the same concept in badminton you hit it up it's going to only go up and then it will go down right then if you hit it straight forward it's going to go farther all right so just pay attention to positioning and where your shots are going all right that's it